Six. More than six million men suffer from depression each year, but male depression often goes underdiagnosed, according to Mental Health America. KLTV 7's Christine Guevara spoke with local experts to find out why. It's called the male loneliness epidemic, where men tend to be more isolated than women. The National Institutes of Health says this is due to issues regarding social status, health, finances, or trauma. And that's not something that's new from COVID. In fact, Pew Research, even up to, you know, decades before COVID, were demonstrating that there was a decrease over the decades, over the generations of men having support. Rebecca Shaw at Tapestry Counseling says the isolation and the stigma around seeking help makes men more vulnerable to mental health issues. Men, unfortunately, in our culture have been taught that tears are a sign of femininity or weakness. And so the only thing they're allowed to feel is anger or happiness. Suffering is a part of the natural experience. And rather than shoving it down, it's actually better for your body to express it. When it comes to signs and symptoms. It presents in just a completely different manner depending on the individual. It can be anger, it can be sadness, it can be isolation. And there's some people that feel everything's internal. Shaw says other signs are a loss of interest in once enjoyed things or spending more time on social media or work. And so the best solution is to find community. Whether that's with our spouse or our children or our friends or our family, or if that's a trained professional, we need help. And it's not a form of weakness to need to talk to someone about these things. That it doesn't make you any less of a man for asking for help. Christine Guevara, KLTV 7 News. Mental Health America says other major mental health problems include bipolar disorders, eating disorders, psychosis, and schizophrenia.